Hey y'all, welcome back to Jack's Drinkwater Southern Cooking and Barbecue. Today's video is gonna be something maybe you may have never heard of before, and that's grouper cheeks. Now, if you don't know what grouper cheeks are, I can tell you they're located just behind the mouth and below the eye of a grouper. Now, most people overlook the grouper cheeks, but I'm telling you, if you catch a grouper and it's a decent sized grouper, look into salvaging those cheeks. And there's plenty of videos out there that'll show you how to extract those cheeks. They're sweet, lovely little morsels. And I'm using the word morsels, but I'm telling you some of these groupers that you can get out there, I mean, literally their cheeks are this big. I mean, you could fry one up and make a fish sandwich out of just one of them. These are a little smaller, fresh out of the Gulf. So I'm going to show you how to put it together. It's going to be quick. It's going to be easy and they're going to be delicious. Before we get started, I'll show you what one of these look like. They're a little rounded right here. It's gonna be delicious. All right, so we got us a gallon Ziploc bag here, and I got two and a half pounds of grouper cheeks. So we're just gonna transfer all of these grouper cheeks into this bag. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with some buttermilk. Now, we're only gonna leave this in here for, you know, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes, maybe an hour. You could do two hours if you wanted to. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of that buttermilk in there just like so. All right, and I'm gonna go in with some hot sauce. I mean, it's about right, right there, I guess you could say. I'm just gonna pour the rest of this in there. And this is just a, I don't know, some kind of off-brand hot sauce. Good stuff though. All right, so we're just gonna seal this bag up really good. And then we're just gonna kinda mix it around just to get that hot sauce mixed in. All right, so we're gonna go put this in the refrigerator now and we'll get the rest of our ingredients together. So in this bowl here, I have two cups of all-purpose flour and two cups of cornmeal. To that, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of salt. two teaspoons of black pepper, two teaspoons of paprika, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. And I'm just gonna go in with my hands and mix all of that in. Once you finish this, you can go ahead and get your oil heated up to 375 degrees. While our oil is heating up, we're gonna get us a tartar sauce going. This starts with one cup of mayonnaise. A little dash of Worcestershire sauce. A dash of your favorite hot sauce. I'm using Tabasco's cayenne garlic sauce. A little pinch of salt. A hefty pinch of white pepper one third cup of sweet pickle relish, a tablespoon of capers mince, and one egg chopped. Now the egg, you can either chop it, but I like to use a fork. Give it a stir. I've been doing this recipe for years. This is so much better than the store-bought. I know everyone has your, you know, their favorite, but you guys really should try this. It is fantastic. Sometimes I even add a squirt of lemon. Now, I highly recommend that you make this like the day ahead of time because the longer it sits, the better it gets. All right, we're about ready to batter these up. I got, I'm gonna have one wet hand, one dry hand, and understand we're not gonna double dip these. We're just gonna go one time in this mixture. This is a Southern fish fry. We only usually batter once, or at least I do. No, seriously, the deal is here, is these little nuggets are small, so there's no reason to 
um, double dip, we want to get the full flavor of this fish. And if you double dip, you're going to get a lot of batter and less fish. You feel me? And I'm just putting these off to the side here because we're going to do batch. So I'm going to get, you know, I don't know, 10 or 12 of these little bad boys over there. And then uh, we'll, we'll give them a fry up. So I'm not going to bore you with me battering all these up. Next time you see us, we'll be over there at the fryer. All right, let's give our fish a little swim. You just want these golden brown. All right, so we have all of these grouper cheeks fried up, so we're about ready to give them a sample. So let's dig in. And I'm gonna dig into this sauce. Mm. Oh man. Sweet, tender. You know, I've tried tartar sauces over the years and this one just can't be beat. If you guys have never tried grouper cheeks, give them a go. I think you're gonna like them. All right, guys, fried grouper cheeks and homemade tartar sauce, do it.